Elk, Vermilio, and the others travel. Come on! You can't go out like that! Hm? No, nope, too slow! You won't let it hit on me that easy! Oh, oh! Whoa, hey, be still! You can try all you want, but your attacks are powerless against the might of my defenses! You are welcome to strike at me from anywhere! Oh, guys, you could probably use some help. Hey, wake up! Don't you want to be the new demon lord? Oh, wait. The lady from management came to handle this kind of stuff. Stop. Adel. So you were able to tell it was me, huh? You know him? I've watched you handle a sword for many years. All it took was a glance. As impressive as ever. Sir Helk, I never thought I'd meet you here. This is quite a surprise. Same. So they are human after all. Oh, wow. I was expecting somebody more rugged under that helmet, but you look kind of wimpy. I can see you were able to retain your personality. Yes, and it seems I had an exceptionally high awakening rate. However, that meant I was forced to watch many of my friends suffer through the process. To be honest with you, I would have preferred losing my mind than witness that. Is that so? This confirms it. The Winged Knights are all humans. They must have used some form of sorcery to transform their bodies. But what do they mean by awakening? Are these winged creatures supposed to be their true form? But despite it all, I'm happy that I've gone through the evolution. Now I can tap into incredible powers to fight against the demons. And we've only just begun. Eat- Huh? Crap, here come the other flying assholes! We gotta wrap this up quick! It's only a matter of time before my comrades arrive. We will invade further into the demon realm, and engage the demon scourge in battle. If that's so, then we'd better hope that not every single human has awakened to this power. That would be an insurmountable number of troops. Then again, if this is the best they can do in an actual fight, then it's quite possible we could win. They may have gotten more powerful, but that doesn't mean much compared to the humans of the past. A single hero still poses a much greater threat than any of them. Helk. It all comes down to you. The actions you take today will have a huge impact on our future. The Demon Realm is deep and vast. There are surely more foes than the Demon Lord. But we're not going to run anymore. We are cowards no longer. We shall claim victory. As long as Helk fights on our side, we shouldn't have any problems. You know it's true. We are now the same as you, Helk. We have also awakened as heroes. What? No! How is that even possible? The previous hero was born over 250 years ago. And now, there are already both Helk and his younger brother, Kles. Just two heroes alive on Earth at one time is already unnatural. That said, these knights are too weak to call themselves true heroes. Wait, maybe that's just it. There are so many, they're awakening more slowly at this point. But if that rate increases over time, they'll only get that much stronger. And if multiple heroes with powers like Helk start showing up one after the other, the Empire is doomed. Helk was only the beginning. Goddamn humans. How did they unlock the secret to rousing such a power? An era of true peace is within our grasp. We will end the demonic plague, the root of all evil, and create a perfect world meant only for us humans. Help us! I really should have taken a moment to eat a few beans. Prepare to rot in hell, demons. There is no escape. You shall fall before the mighty power of humanity! <laughs> what? Era of true peace, my ass. Just listen to yourself. We have done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. You piece of shit. God damn it! I cut your arm off, you bitch! Oh, yes. <sighs> well, arms can grow back pretty quickly, of course. Everyone knows that. What? Arms don't do that, do they? No, they do not. Well, that one did. Those two are totally oblivious to the gravity of things. Regeneration abilities are a well-known trait of the Ahald tribe. The Ahald tribe possess untold regenerative powers, allowing them to heal themselves. Some have even taken to calling them the undead. Shura let them attack her on purpose. And once he dropped his guard, she was able to strike without notice. She could have ended this whole thing by taking off his head. Although... Perhaps she knows I'm using this fight to see where Helk's allegiance lies. 
Oh, losing one of your wings seems to have slowed you down, pretty boy. What's wrong? Can't you heroes bounce back from your injuries? Dude, she's really rubbing it in. Oh, silence, you freak of nature! That's just rude. It's too bad your good looks can't save your shitty-ass attitude. Damn, girl. It would seem to me. Your new powers aren't so strong right after awakening. No, I'm not done. Once my awakening rate is elevated, you won't be talking so much. Oh, how cute. I guess I should just finish you off before you get the chance to get any stronger. When this is all over and I'm the new Demon Lord, I will massacre every last one of you shit stains. You're the next Demon Lord! That's the plan. I'm going to kill you. Not today. She's right. These knights have only awakened their potential recently. Even if they have the powers of a hero, they don't pose a real threat until they've honed them. Throughout history, humankind has stabbed our empire in the back multiple times. Peace is not likely on the table. There is only one way to avoid the worst possible outcome. Whoa! What is she doing? Look at that! A multi-level summoning technique! Don't see that every day, my friend! Must obliterate the humans! The hell? I thought she was gonna fight him, not blow everything up! Finishment has some real talent. If I didn't have to worry about Hulk, I'd just wipe them all out right here and now. But I do have the tournament finals to consider. So I'll just reduce their numbers. Well, not much left for us to do. Let's sit back and watch the show. Not my comrades! Formidable, isn't she? And guess what? She's just a member of the management staff. What? The management staff? Our empire is teeming with warriors far more powerful than her. So you can come at us with thousands of heroes if you want, but you'll never win. This is solid bluff. Now that you know it's hopeless, you are going to apologize for calling me a freak of nature. Do that, and I might leave you with a little bit of your life left. What? She just wants him to say sorry? Nobody likes being called a freak. I will never grow up to a demon. Know this. The day will come when I bring you to your knees. I will end your life with my own hands.